Today we are going to be playing with the BB Cameron's Cats and Pugs collection. This is super cute. If you guys know me at all, you know that I have had a couple of kitties hanging around my house for quite a while. They passed away this year. I miss them so much. But here is a way I can bring them back into my life because I can make a cute kitty card. And that's actually what my plan is for today. I'm going to make a big cat card for today's video. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and show you the rest of the things that are in this collection. So first off, we've got the big cat and is huge. Let me take out the magnet real quick. So this, this is the basic shape of the cat and she is five and three quarters. This is, yeah, this is basically a little bigger than an A2 size card. Humongous. Yes, so we've got a big kitty. And again, all the pieces. And then we've got a puppy. This one is our pug. Same thing, humongous. Then we've got the cats and pugs accessories. We've got little scarves for them. We've got glasses. We've got a little bow. And then all of these bits or so that you could add some fun glasses to your party pets. These are just super fun. Okay, next we've got this big bicycle. And this one is right at seven inches. So that one is, would be a, basically a, a five by seven card. And yes, the, the height is five by seven. So it is a five by seven bicycle. You can make a five by seven shaped card with this. Of course, we've got all the pieces here. Even a little basket bottle of wine, a baby bottle. We've got a cute little teddy bear to go in there. So lots of different ways you can use that. I think it is so super cute. Yes. Oh, I just noticed. Here's a glass to go with the bottle of wine. And here's a poinsettia. And here's another kind of flower. So you can do it for different seasons. So that is fabulous. Then we've got this one, which is cheerful kittens. So it's the same, basically the same kitty, but smaller. So she's going to be just a little one that you can put on the front of your cart or She'll fit in the basket of your bicycle. So that is fun. Same kind of thing with our party puggles. We've got a little pug puppy that you can do the same kind of thing with. Even a little hat for, yeah, I'm thinking that would be really, really cute for New Year's. Have a New Year's Eve pug. Party hat, different things. And I would say that the, that the different pieces on this one would be interchangeable and use them on your kitty card as well. Then, of course, we've got this bunch of fun sentiments to go along with it. Chase your dreams. Hang in there. You are my favorite human. Have a merry furry Christmas. I was thinking the holidays. Everyone gets to be young once, but your turn is over. Now that's not right. I was made to make you smile. Sorry you are having a rough time. Thank you. It's your birthday. For you. Enjoy every meowment. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Embrace the wrinkles. Because pugs are wrinkly and I'm getting there too. It's good to be different. Except this one. Got another happy birthday. We've got good things come in small packages. Follow the path your heart leads you on. Happy birthday, congratulations, and hello. So a lot of different occasions. You've got birthdays, you've got Christmas, you've got, yeah, embrace the wrinkles. Yeah, birthdays. You get a lot of different things in there and a lot of encouragement ones as well. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting out our kitty and make a card. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a top folding card base and our kitty die. Now, looking at this, it is about the right size, but that would mean that the fold would be just the tip of the ear, and I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it up. We're basically just making the card base right now. I'm gonna slide it up so I've got enough over the top, and might help if I turn it over so that it's the blade side. And I do want it to be where the kitty at the bottom is gonna be about straight. That looks about right. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Now I can put a couple more pieces of tape on there and we can die cut this out. So it did not go through the second layer yet. Let's make sure that it went through the first. Did imprint it. I'm going to go ahead and remove the part that is on the first layer that I can. We're going to run it through again. It should help cut it through a little bit more.
Okay, this time it looks like it cut pretty much all the way through both, which is good. Okay, so it did cut through all the way on the first one, so I can go ahead and trim that off. And then if I need to, which it looks like I probably do, I can go ahead and run it through one more time to cut through the second layer. So here is our card base. So we're going to be able to open it up. Okay, next we're going to start cutting out some pieces to create our kitty. And I'm going to start it off with another piece of another piece of cardstock that is in the shape of the cat. And this is so that I have a full full layer over the top. So I've cut out all of the all of the bits to put our little kitties together, and most of these may not be able to see it on camera, but there are an et there are etched lines to show us where to put the layers. But I've also got my reference photo here, which you should have on your packaging, so keep that. And I pulled out some markers. These are some Artify markers. They're not my favorites. They are highly, highly pigmented and don't really blend as much as I would like unless you get everything really, 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 really saturated. But we're going to give them a shot anyway. So I am going to be coloring everything on the cardstock. Now there are a few pieces that tried to pop out. So I've got them taped down so that it's going, so hopefully they will stay in place and make it easier for me to color. I want my kitty to have green eyes. Actually, I just remembered, those are the pupils, those are the irises, so we're gonna change that up a little bit. I'm gonna do these green. And I'm gonna go back and put some of my black marker over the top of the green to make these black irises for my kitty's eyes. So now that we have all, <laughs> all of our bits colored and cut out, I'm going to start putting things together. I did go ahead and put together the eyes and our little snout for our kitty. So it is started and now I'm putting together the little collar. So we've got a little circle piece, a little oval, and then we have our little bell. I'm going to add our little bell on there. So here is our little face. So we've got... Like I said, I went ahead and did the muzzle. So we've got our muzzle and our little tongue and the nose. And then it goes on top of this little piece. All right, like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is where we've got some layering pieces just to add some dimension, which is also the reason that I added that little bit of yellow to everything around the edges because I wanted it to stand out a little bit since I'm going white on white. The little face. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And then this is going to go right on there, right on our face for our kitty. So adding the face to the head. Basically just putting all of the bits together. And then we'll be putting it all onto the card. Giving our kitty some eyes. <laughs> Kitty is so cute. Oh my goodness. I am loving this. Let's go ahead and grab our collar. And I'm going to put that on this piece that is 
you know, the tufted part for in front of front of our kitty's chest. Let's go ahead and put that down. And then all of this is going to have to go on to our main kitty panel before I can put the head on. Okay, and then we've also got the tail that is going to go on to that panel as well. There we go. We've got our cute little kitty all ready to go onto our card base. Now, before I put him onto the card base, though, I want to add a sentiment on the inside of the card. So now we need a sentiment. So I am picking out enjoy every meow mint because it says meow. Yeah. And I'm also using my, um, my Misty and one of my creative corners to make sure I get that lined up straight. Because it's a little difficult, especially on a shaped card like this. So I've got the fold going straight across one of the lines in my, my Misty, at least from my view. From your view, it's going like halfway. But from my view, it's going right straight across the middle of that line. And now I'm using the creative corner lined up with the edge to make sure that I'm at a right angle. Picking that up with the top of my Misty. And since we've got a little bit of red in this one, I think I'm going to use some Simon Hurley ink and we're going to go with Bee Sting for the inside. And I'm going to double stamp that, which is what I love my Misty. Okay, and now we can put our kitty onto the front. And I'm going to do this by just adding glue to the entire body um, down here, not on the cat, because I would probably put the glue top part that's going to be hanging off. We don't want to do that. And there we go. Enjoy every meow mint. I think that is super, super cute. I love this little kitty. Love, love, love how this one turned out. If you guys do anything using this collection, it's so many products. If you use anything in this collection to create a card, if I've inspired you in any way, be sure to tag me on social media when you post your pictures. So tag me at hashtag Debbie J's Crafting Corner, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys.